Namaste. In this video, we are going to look at a question from GATE 2021 Metrology paper. For this question, you can look at Chemical Principles Part 2 by Dr. Arna Mukherjee as a reference video. The question is as follows. 1 mole of an ideal gas at 10 atmosphere and 300 Kelvin undergoes reversible adiabatic expansion to a pressure of 1 atmosphere. The work done by the gas is given as dash. And they have given the gas constant and the pressure is 1 atmosphere. And uh, the pressure 1 atmosphere in terms of Pascal and Cp is equal to 2.5 times of R. In this question, you have to take down the important points that it is adiabatic expansion, which means there is no heat exchange. And when it comes to adiabatic expansion, we have to remember some formulas that is the pressure is inversely proportional to the volume to the power of gamma and uh, Gamma is given in terms of Cp by Cv, which is specific heat capacity at constant pressure and specific heat capacity at constant volume. For an ideal gas, Cp minus Cv is R. So, to start off with, the pressure at initial stages is given as 10 atmosphere and uh, the pressure at the final stage is given as 1 atmosphere and the temperature is 300 Kelvin. So these are the basic things which is being given in the question. So we will st first start off with finding what is Cv. So as uh, we know what is Cp and what is R. So Cp minus Cv is given as R. Cp is 2.5 times of R minus Cv is equal to R. So Cv is 1.5 times of R. From which we can find what is gamma. Gamma is Cp by Cv which is 2.5 times of R divided by 1.5 times of R. So gamma is 1.67 or 5 by 3. The next thing which we need to find are the initial and the final volumes. For an ideal gas equation, we can write that PV is equal to NRT. That is P1V1 is equal to NRT. Initial pressure is 10. So V1 is what we need to find. N is uh, 2 moles. R is 8.314. Temperature is 300. So, V1 is 249.42. Next, we need to find the final volume. As I have already said, for our adiabatic expansion, the formula is pressure is inversely proportional to V to the power of gamma, from which we can write the equation PV1 gamma is equal to P2V2 gamma. So, the pressure at initial stage is 10. Volume we have found as 249.42, gamma is 5 by 3. The final pressure is 1. The final volume is what we need to find, which is to the power of 5 by 3. So, the volume V2 is 992.96. Now, we will go on to what is the work of adiabatic expansion, which is given by the formula P1 V1 minus P2 V2 divided by gamma minus 1. So the pressure at initial stage is 10. Volume is 249.42 minus P2 is 1 minus P2 is 1 into 992.96 divided by gamma is 5 by 3 minus 1. So the work done is 2252 joules. Thank you for listening.